Over to you. Hello, it's Bonnie Southgate from Pilates Therapy. Um, I am going to talk today a little bit about something called METs. Um, in Pilates, uh, we don't really know, we're not taught specifics about um, techniques called METs. There's, it stands for Muscle Energy Release Techniques. And we do do them all the time. It falls into a category that we know, but there are several, di several different ways they're used as a release method. So most Pilates teachers will be more um, commonly know reciprocal inhibition, which is when you contract one muscle, the opposite side will release. And that's basically, certainly when I was taught um, what we're working on, um, but there are many types of METs and um, we'll talk a little bit on our course days, on our MET day, about the different options and why you would use the different options and what's most effective for, um, for the individual's needs and, and things. And we'll also talk about stretching on the course and all the latest research on that. So what I wanna do when we're doing our um, METs, Certainly on our course, we try and make them uh, work for the Pilates studio or mat work classes and things like that. So what I thought I'd do today is show you an MET for hip flexor and quads. And if you are a studio teacher or um, you could do this sort of just kneeling as well, have a go and try. So I'm going to do a little version of front splits and we're going to add an MET onto it and have a go trying it in your studios without an MET and then try giving yourself an MET and see how it feels later because when I use this on my classes and my groups they really do feel the difference when they've done it before rather than later. So I tend to get tight in my quads more than my hip flexors as you'll see my hip flexors aren't tight. So I alter the position of my back leg a little bit so if I'm setting myself up for front splits I don't normally want my trainers on, but for today I've got them on. I normally would set myself up here for my front splits, but I'm going to actually take my foot up to the top of the shoulder rest so that I give myself a little bit more length through my quadricep. And what I'm going to do now, so the concept behind the MET I'm teaching you is called a post-isometric relaxation technique. So it's a PIR. Um, I'm going to take my muscle to length, but not into, so I'm going to find the tension and then I'm going to back off the tension. And now I'm going to push my foot down, so I'm actually recruiting my quadricep muscle very lightly, so it's about 10% effort that you need. And I'm going to hold it there for roughly 10 seconds. You don't, it can be 5 seconds, not long. And then once I've held that there for a little bit of time, I'm going to take myself into a little bit of a stretch taking it to a new length. So I'm not really overstretching it, but I'm just taking it to a new feeling of tension. And I'm gonna repeat that again. So I'm gonna push my foot down. I'm just gonna hold it there for a few seconds. And then I'm gonna push and I'm gonna lengthen my quad away again. And then I'm gonna come back in. And now I can just proceed with my normal front splits, taking that back leg away. And you can do the same thing with the front leg with the hamstring, so you could think about taking it to a point where you get just a slight bit of tension, pulling the heel down, so recruiting the back of the leg, and then pushing away a little bit further, pulling the heel down, pushing a little bit further and come in. And then I would take my class into my normal um, front split and carry on, and it tends to take them to a better length or, or a feeling of bigger stretch. Anyway, Hopefully you will try this and you'll find this interesting. This is Bonnie Southgate from Pilates Therapy. Um, if you're interested in learning any more about uh, METs, we have courses in Ferndown in London and you can find that out on www.pilatestherapy.co.uk. Thank you very much. Bye.